Hi guys, welcome back to my video. In today's video, we are going to do a meal plan. Uh, so if you don't already know, I'm moving house next week, which means I need to get rid of most things from my freezer. Uh, we've got a chest freezer and then the normal freezer. We've been doing a really good job of running it down, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but I'm trying to avoid going shopping and just shop from my freezer, which is a good tip if you're wanting to save money anyway always shop from your freezer your fridge and your cupboards before you go shopping that way you can use up anything that needs using and save money as well so the first thing we're going to do is go down to the garage and check the chest freezer to see what we've got in there oh, you can't see it but there is a huge spider web right there terrifying spiders don't come for me Ugh. keep the door open in case I need to make a quick getaway oh get the drain at the same time okay so this is our chest freezer now the dust um, so as you can see, I pretty much run it down anyway. Uh, it's really helpful that we're moving because it needs defrosting anyway. So we have some bread for bread and butter pudding. Oh, yes. Uh, we have a load of tomatoes. We have some chicken thigh burger. Well, a chicken thigh burger. I might have that today. Um, we have some pizza. Domino's, some stir fry mix. This is my bag for my smoothies for fruit. Um, and then we've just got some meat. So yeah, I load all this up and we'll see what we've got. Right, okay, so that is almost empty. We've got a few bits here. Uh, we've got like a soup pack and then a cauliflower uh, rice. Ooh, my fingers, I'll take them. So I've got the two bags here. Um, I'm leaving the smoothie stuff in the freezer because I know what it is. I know what I'm going to do with that. There's no doubt that I'll use all the smoothie stuff before next week. Um, I think the plan is that if we can empty this chest freezer, it doesn't matter if we've got stuff in the freezer up at the house. Someone said if you put a towel in the freezer, then you can use it to wrap up your frozen food and it'll stay frozen for a couple of hours. Uh, the fridge freezer up here in the house, we're not taking with us. So we can leave that turned on. So the food will be frozen right up until the point we leave the house. And then the fridge freezer at the house that we bought, they're leaving that. So it should just be the couple of hours between us leaving this house, getting the keys, getting to the house, shove it all back in the freezer, and then I can just take it out and clean the drawers one by one so we don't have to worry about all the food defrosting. So that's the plan, let's get back up to the house. Hey, so I've just brought everything back up. The first thing I'm gonna do is put these fish fingers on a baking tray because I can have these for my lunch. So we'll do that first, and then I will get to sorting on the stove. Xander Monday to Friday he doesn't eat that much in the evening because he has a cold tea at nursery so he normally just has a mum juice to do my tea and give him like a quarter of it and then if he's still hungry he can just have a bit more but as a general rule I won't make a separate meal for him on a night because he just goes in the bin um, but for the weekend so this weekend Friday he's going to his nonna so I need to make sure I have some meals prepped for him to take with him and then on Sunday he's going to my mum's, his nana's. So again, I need to cook a couple of meals to send with him. And then yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, me and Liam are at home next week because we're packing. So I need to do dinners and teas. But yeah, let's just get into it. Let's just see what we've got. So the first thing I'm gonna do is separate meats. Ooh, didn't even 
even know I had any of chicken and chicken mince. Separate the mince. Oh, you go. No. I need to get more organized in the new house because I didn't know we had half of this stuff in the freezer. I wanted some chili sausages last weekend when Liam's mum came to stay. We were gonna do a nice beans and sausages on toast. Liam makes his own baked beans. Well, it's just haricot beans, but, um, and because we didn't have any sausages, we didn't do it. But we did have some sausages, they're in the freezer. Always check what's in your freezer. So it's not as bad as I originally thought. We have a lot more meat than I thought we had in the freezer. But we have a lot less other stuff. So I'll, I'll flip it around. So we've got this sort of section here, which is the meats. We have this section here, which is food that's not, it's like it's not a full meal that's been prepared, but it, it's not raw. So for example, we've got hash browns, some chicken nuggets, wedges that have been prepared, there's the cooking. Uh, some chili peas, one's got these in a too good to go box. So I wouldn't eat these on their own, they need to go with something, but they're also not purely raw. So all I need to do now is try and make some meals out of these. Let's go. Okay, so I've written it all out and portioned it all out. Um, Wednesday evening, that's tonight. Thursday, we've got lunches and teas. Friday, pizza for tea. Um, Liam gets lunch provided at work and I'll probably have leftovers that's in the fridge. Saturday we've got breakfast, the sausages and hash browns, lunch we've got chicken stir fry, tea, fish pie with peas and wedges and also the crumble mix with pudding. Sunday we've got chicken burgers and chicken nuggets for lunch. We've got chicken curry and rice for tea which I found in the freezer at the top. Uh, and then I'll send these Cassandra's at my mum's fish cakes. You can have them with beans. And then Monday lunch, I've got this for my dinner. So if we stick to this like glue and eat everything that's here, which hopefully we will do, that should have run down the freezers substantially. Um, it will mean we're not transporting loads of stuff. And it just might mean on Monday night slash Tuesday, we, I'll have to go to the shops to get a couple of bits. Um, I'll probably just pick up some potatoes because we've got tuna in the cupboard and jacket potatoes are always a winner. Um, but yeah, that's it. So this is pretty much everything in my freezer that needs eating this week and it should only leave a few basics. First of all, it just goes to show that you can eat a meal's worth, a week's worth of meals out of your freezer when you just don't realise you've got the stuff. And second of all, I didn't realise how quick it would be to run down my freezer. I was panicking a little bit. I thought we had... I don't know, I, I thought we had more in the freezer that needed using, but less to make actual meals, if that makes sense. Like there's loads of stuff in there that I didn't even realise we had. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. It's been a bit sporadic, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks, bye.